Hello and welcome to Earthray Healing. We are integrating dragon energy here. And actually, this was all like I already started the reading and then I didn't realize that I didn't have my microphone on. So I'm going to kind of I'm going to go over what I have already said. Um, we have these cards. This is another dragon deck. This is a dragon deck, a dragon fey oracle deck. Um, and then this is a Lemurian deck, but I purposely chose the ones that have the dragons on them. And then I noticed that I did not choose this one. Uh, it just kind of found its way in there and it is a healing one. So that will be interesting to see. So I, I had mentioned um, previously that, that this is this is a healing. This is a, it feels very powerful. Um, it feels like it could be an activation. Uh, we're just going to allow it to be what it is. Um, we're bringing in the dragon energy. We're integrating. So it doesn't even matter what the message is. We're still integrating um, the dragon energy through the message. So that's what this is. Um, and then we have uh, the first one that I turned over was this, the time guardian. You have time, it says. You have time. And then I flipped this one over. Tatsuya, have courage. Have courage. And then I flipped this one over. Lady Luna's magic. Synchronize with the lunar time and energy. And then came this one, which was a little bit different, oops, which was a little bit different uh, from the other ones because the other ones have straight dragons on them. This has a jester, a joker on it, and the dragon is actually right here. And I was mentioning how this, through that color, I feel Archangel Michael. And so I feel like maybe you have a dragon being around you that acts as Archangel Michael, like a fierce protector of some sort. And they are joining in on this session with you. Okay, I think that's where I was. So, okay, so what I'm feeling with this is that someone is going through quite a change, quite a transformation. Um, and with the time guardian, I feel like you're pressed for time or like you feel like you're pressed for time, but they're saying you have time. Um, and also there's something about like shifting time here. Like if you have felt like time has been shifted, it has been like, you're not mistaken. Um, and you can call on the the time guardians to help you shift time. And what I mean by that is um, you can say this is your whole day right here. And usually you're at work for this amount of time. And then you only have this amount of time to eat, sleep, and be with your family. You can shift time so that this is actually when you're working. And then this is when you can sleep, eat, and spend time with your family and do fun things. And I know that that sounds like it doesn't make sense, but in a miraculous way, it happens. It works. It seems like you're, you're, just, you're just getting to work and then boom, you're done with work. And it seems like you have all this time when you, ha when you are at home or you're doing fun things. Call on the time guardians if you feel like you are pressed for time. And I, yeah, I feel like somebody is definitely going through a, um, a big change because the courage one is here. And so that tells me that there are guardians around you um, helping you with courage. So literal guardian courage, angels, courage, dragons, courage, beings that you chose to be with you at this time for this transition. And then with this Lady Luna's magic, 
synchronize with lunar time and energy. These three together here feel like slow down. Like you don't have to push yourself. You don't have to rush. There may be some sort of deadline or something, but again, work with the time guardians. It will seem like time has been stretched. Like time will be stretched. You will have time to get wherever you need to go. You will have time to figure out whatever you need to figure out. Um, Cause I can see somebody like signing a contract and they're like, you know, how do I, how do I have time? I only have till this date to sign my contract. Like there's no messing with time. There is, there is, you can, like you can make it happen. You can, you can shift time and the dragons are masters at shifting time. And this, this is time also, this, this uh, moon energy is very slow. It's feminine energy. It's nighttime energy. It's going within energy. It's like it says, syncing up with lunar time. So starting new things at new moon, finishing things at full moon, working with the moon cycle or moon cycles. Now this one says a little bit more to me here about your situation. So if you're starting something new, you're, you've moved, you, um, you started a new job, you started a new life. That's what it feels like. It's like it's a whole new life is going on. This is reminding you to dot your I's and cross your T's kind of thing. Look beneath the surface. And it also tells me that all is not as it seems. Like not everyone is honest. So just be cautious. But you are protected because like I said, this dragon that's on here, I get a, a major Archangel Michael um, protection, fierce protection energy with that. So yes, it's just a reminder that, yeah, because there's like, there's like uncharted territory here where we made a decision about something and we're making a change. We're making a move. We're starting a new job. We're getting a new car. Um, it's even maybe all of those things. Like it's newness, newness, and a little bit of um, fear, a little bit of scared, but maybe scared, excited. And that's where that have courage comes in. Have courage. But also you have these courage angels with you. And again, they're bringing up, you have time, you have time. Because somebody's feeling really pressed. It's almost like I'm getting anxious. Like time's, it's, time's ticking. Time's ticking and I need to make a decision. You do, yes. But as we know, worry and anxiety doesn't help anything. It doesn't change anything. So why not take a step back, take a deep breath, call in the time guardians, manipulate your time, manipulate your timing. Exactly like I said, you can draw like a sort of chart. Like if you like I like how I said you, you draw a line and I can't remember actually if I said that in the part that I wasn't that, that I didn't have my mic on or if I said it in this one. But I was talking about um, manipulating time. So like if this is your whole day, and I apologize if, if, if I already said this, but if this is your whole day and then this is your work day and then this is the amount of time that you have for fun, for sleeping, change that. Manipulate time to make it about this amount of time that you are at work or doing whatever it is, that, that thing that's like taking up time and then this amount of time. Or like if you have... Um, you know, two days to make a decision, manipulate time to make that into be, being like two months. 
Maybe it still is that two days, but it will feel like two months and you'll have time. I hope that that all makes sense because you can absolutely manipulate time. Yeah, call in the time guardians. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Mother Earth and Vita. All things are interconnected. Feel the deep peace and sense of connection that results from this knowledge. See, this is a slow energy. Again, this is like slowing down the lunar energy, the earth energy, mother earth energy. All things are interconnected. Feel the deep peace. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here is to feel deep peace actually um, within your, like your situation. Like I said, take a step back, take a deep breath, call in help, call in your team to help you make decisions, to help you expand and contract time, to help you have courage, to help you make decisions. We have Ormayak and Dub. The time has come now for divine insight. There's time again. Accept the darkness within you along with the light and follow the path toward wholeness. I love that. That's like, you've gone through a, a big change or you're going through a big change here. Because um, I feel like... Uh, in integration there like you've done integration work with the dark and the light and um it's like a reminder here to accept the darkness within you along with the light but i feel like that's something that you've already done and i'm seeing this actually can you see that it's a little green like jewel and i'm feeling archangel mike or not archangel michael archangel Raphael within that in the healing, a healing is occurring. It's funny, there's archangelic energy in this. Well, it's not funny at all because <laughs> the dragon energy is so high frequency like the angelic energy. So that's what I'm feeling. I'm, I'm tapping into the archangelic kingdom here along with this energy because something big is happening. Laosi and sunshine. I could be pronouncing these wrong, I apologize. Be careful with your words. With some you can harm yourself, so speak and love. So, I'm sorry, be careful with your words, exactly. With some you can harm yourself, so speak with love and positivity. Allow your words and smile to be your adornments. Oh, I like that. I like these two. Like, it's like allow your darkness, allow your, like integrate your dark and your light together to be one, to be what you are. Smile, allow your words and your smile to be your adornments. Speak with love and positivity. I'm hearing about yourself, about your situation, about your decisions. Speak with love and positivity and confidence I'm hearing. Speak with confidence about your decisions. Courage, have courage. You do have, you have a major courage, like entity around you, I can feel it. It's very, it's huge and it's powerful. It probably is a dragon since we're bringing in dragon energy here, but I mean, it could be an archangel, it could be uh, Thoth, it could be different beings, you know, ones that you connect with. There's definitely a, a large presence around you that is helping you with courage and confidence and perseverance and, 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 in, and healing, loving yourself. Artanis and I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm getting abundance from this. It's very golden. It says, open yourself to the gifts that life brings. Be grateful and patient and you will receive all that you require. You feel like it 
toning down here, you know? Like, it's like, like I said, it's like they're telling you to slow down because I feel like you're trying to force a decision or force a, um, some kind of move, some kind of action. You're trying to force something, possibly. And then it, you know, with the lunar energy and, and the feminine energy, there's a slow down and, you know, integrating the shadow and the, and the light, the dark and the light. It's, it's all a slowing down. And when we slow down like that, we can appreciate more um, the gifts that we receive. We can actually see and feel and hear the gifts that we receive. Yeah, open yourself to the gifts that life brings. That's what you're able to do when you slow down, when we slow down here. Okay, let's see what these are. I'm noticing the clear quartz here and I'm getting like time again, the clear quartz with time. Back to that, you have time. I'm seeing a dragonfly, a ro uh, I was going to say a rose, but it looks more like a lotus. I'm seeing triangles, I'm seeing swirls, swirl of the dragon itself. Okay, vulnerability. Hmm. When we are truly honest with ourselves in all our facets, we are vulnerable. That honesty is an important step in discovering our shadows. There's the shadows again. Maybe you discovered something about yourself and you integrated all of it and now you're leaving something behind and moving forward. Yeah, it may, it may be time to step into the role of healer and hold space. Holding space means being fully present without judgment in a way that provides a safe and nurturing environment. Here, guards are dropped, a deeper level of awareness and relating can unfold and profound healing takes place. So I said a healing with that Archangel Raphael jewel there. Vulnerability, being honest, having courage. This is, big, this is a big change. And like I said, this might not have been the artist's intent for that to be a dragon eye, but it looked like it to me, so that's why I grabbed it. Awakened awareness. There are many levels of awakening. Keep learning. Yeah, you, it's an awakening. It's an awakening. They never stop. We just, we awaken, we integrate. We awaken, we integrate. Keep learning, yes, and putting yourself into situations where you can grow. Awakened awareness. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I feel like we got it. And then, of course, the healing card. We'll read that at the end because that, I mean, it's a healing and that card made its way in and I didn't choose it. Radical expansion. That's exactly what's happening to you right now. And that's why it feels like, that's why you feel like you're pressed for time because there is a radical expansion happening. But remember, you can handle it. You chose this time period for this to happen to you. And you and these guardians and angels and beings that are around you right now helping you through this, you all got together before you were even born. And you, you have them around you. Like there's already things set in place for this huge transition, transformation. Whether you've started it, you're in the middle of it, um, or it has happened and you're just like struggling with it. It's still like there's there's like expansion and contraction happening right now. Unleash your inner rainbow dragon and unapologetically claim your heart. Heart-based empowerment. I just saw heart-based employment. Your so maybe you're starting a heart-based jaw, a heart-based um, business even. Yeah, and radiantly unconventional gifts. Okay, you can be as big as your energy wants to be. That's that expanding and contracting. You control that. It's the same with the energy of time. Your energy, you can make your energy as big or as, as small, contracted as you want it to be. Let go of limiting stories. 
and take up all the space you need. Have fun, have fun, have fun. Unleashing who you are, as bold and radical as your ideas or offerings might be. They could be just what the world is waiting for, what the world wants. Be the masterpiece your soul always wanted you to be. That's what you're doing. Look at that. Ta-da! Here I am. <laughs> My dragon rainbow self. Oh, I just saw her with her heart. Oh, Her open heart. Open heart. Open heart. Take a deep breath. Wow. I knew this was going to be big and powerful. Okay. And then we have these, these guys. I feel eyes. But I'm hiding right here. It's like I'm hiding down here. Fire. Didn't we have... No. I thought we had something in here about the elements, but maybe not. Okay. Fire. We live in a dualistic world. That's the dualistic world. And that's also the light in the dark. Remember the light in the dark? Yeah, we're doing some, you've done major integration. I want to tell you to take a rest also. Yeah, bringing light and dark into balance and being real with our human humanness can allow us to reach more joy, authenticity, and depth by accepting and loving all of our ourselves as we are. We can extend more of this love and have a greater compassion for others. This painting portrays the balanced dance of creation. Hmm, are you creating something? Yeah, creating a business? Hmm. Okay. As the dragons come together, they dissolve into one with all that is. In this place of coalescence, both sides fuse in oneness, not just as a remembering with the universe, but in an alchemical process of becoming the empowered creator force we are. It's, it's powerful. It's ending power, powerfully here. I feel like I need to um, look at the book on these ones because it has a little section where the dragon is speaking to you. And I feel like there's something in that. So let's look at this one first. So this is number 32. Let's get to 32 here. Okay, a message from Vida the dragon. Come to me. You will always find me within your world. I am the power and the magic that holds everything together. Hmm. Yeah. Call on magic, I'm hearing. Okay, I'm going to continue. I am attraction. I am lava. I am the reason you can be here. Immerse yourself in the center of this world and make contact with me. I am here to teach you how to live. Hmm. Yeah, because I feel like, again, somebody is like maybe on their own for the first time or the first time in a long time. And there's encouragement here. There's angels. There's beings that are helping you learn how to live again. I will teach you that you can also be happy in a dual world. We're just talking about a dual world with this card. That you can find paradise in here in the here and now, when you cease to be judgmental. Through the warmth of my heart's love, I will show you that we are friends and that the great mother and I love you above all things. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm being led to read these ones. There's something in them. This dragon here, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but uh, doob, doob. The power of the four elements didn't I mention the elements? I mean, we have, yeah, this is, is, was this fire? Yeah, fire. That's, okay. That's kind of strange. Okay. The power of the four elements, earth, fire, air, and water, dwells within you 
as a magical entity, but one of these is only barely li lived by you, if at all. In order to make progress on your life path and receive answers, it is time to consciously live and strengthen this element. Make this your priority. It, di it didn't say what element, though. It doesn't say what element. It just says, call... What did it say? Call on this element. Or, yeah, it's time to consciously live and strengthen this element. So maybe it's fire. That's the only element that came out here. Fire. And I'm hearing somebody is a fire sign without fire. So it's like your passion without passion. And so the other elements, let's just talk about those for a second. Air. I mean, air is, um, it's breathing, right? Connecting with breath. It's heart energy. It's um, thinking. It's your mental state. Memory. It's your memory. It's motivation. It's um, intelligence, right? Earth. Earth is structure. It's money. It's your family, your possessions, your boundaries. It's the, uh, the root chakra. Fire. Fire is, um, like I said, passion. It's, it's courage. It's desire, power associated with the solar plexus. And then water is purification. It's um, your psychic abilities. Uh, it's your like able to be fluid, your mutability. It's the sacral, it's emotions. So this is talking about connecting with an element that you're not connecting with. Okay, let's move on to this one here. Number 15. Okay, a message from Sunshine. You scintillate in this world. You are the light that illuminates everything. There is no beginning and no end. All life and power manifest themselves in, eternal, in an eternal circle and in absolute majesty, beauty in words opens doors full of light. Learn and be ready. Your sparkle is your gift to yourself. I love that. Your sparkle is your gift to yourself. And then we have number five here. A message from this dragon. Practice letting things happen. Yeah, see, rather than rushing to try and influence them in advance. Trust in Artens and me. We will prepare you to be fully guided by the spirit world. We will teach you to wait for the right moment and to recognize when you should follow the signs and promptings from the outside world. Be aware that there is a time for everything and trust the voice of your heart. Absolutely. That's what this is about. Not rushing something and the fact that you have time. <sighs> Take a deep breath. I feel like the codes, like dragon codes for me are so, like what I hear in my Claire, Claire audience is, is so deep. It's it, like deeper than human voices can go. So the light language, it, to me, it might, it might sound like bland, but trust it's powerful. This session is powerful. The space in between these words is powerful. And this one here, I almost forgot about healing. Healing. We're bringing in the L Lemurians here, right? Lemurians were healers. Naturally intuitive and accustomed to navigating energetic-based realities. We all have natural healing abilities that are advanced when we deepen our energetic awareness. When we perceive the world beyond the more well-known senses, we start to receive information and wisdom. Wisdom, wisdom is within the dragons also. Wisdom different from that which stems from intellect. Yes, absolutely. Ancient wisdom. Wisdom from your heart. Wisdom from your heart is being sort of integrated 
um, into your being now. And it's from, actually, it's from like parallel lifetimes. You're tapping into, you've, you've done so much work and you're tapping into other lifetimes at this time. And you are integrating the, that wisdom. It's like you may know something like all of a sudden or like a video may pop up for you based on something that you were thinking about, like that you, you wanted to know how to do something and then that, that video popped up out of nowhere. It's, it's all divinely guided, but you're also tapping into these other lifetimes and it's coming to you. This knowledge, this wisdom is, is coming to you, I'm, I'm hearing like sporadically and radically. <laughs> okay, by tapping into life force consciousness and using this abounding energy alongside focused intention, we realize that anything is possible. Extend the margins of your awareness. Hmm. We're going like deeper now. Like we've left the area where we're not, where where we're scared, and um, we just made the decision, and we're ex we're like expanding our consciousness, extending the margins of your awareness. Revisit a situation from a broader perspective or higher vibration with a focus on healing. Perhaps the issue is simply an outdated or limiting perception placement. You have the ability to align to a fresh new timeline inspired by wholeness again with the wholeness we had wholeness here i think we had wholeness here with the um light and the dark yes accept the darkness within you along with the light and follow the path toward wholeness this session was really amazingly powerful everyone is going to experience this different differently uh, it's there's so many different things that are that they're like showing me i can't even say all of them but um, basically it's like, it's new path starting. It's a lot of work that you've done. It's a little bit, I'm a little bit, it's like, <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit scared, but I'm really excited. Um, I'm worried about this and I'm worried about that. It could be like money. It could be like people, um, different things, but there's so many like guardians around you. And remember within this whole entire session, we are integrating we have been integrating for the last however many minutes here, dragon energy, dragon energy. And it's on some level, you have asked for it. That's why you clicked on this. This is no mistake. Take a deep breath. We're going to bring in codes of encouragement, codes of encouragement, they're saying. We're bringing in codes of um, sort of like recalibration so that our system can handle our power sort of like understanding or not understanding just allowing the whole time thing that i was explaining so sort of like just recalibrating the system to allow i guess just allow the magic allow magic <sighs> Take a deep breath and we're bringing in the codes that go with this dragon integration. Place your hands over your heart. Hmm. 
Bruh uoma tas okuma na 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 okotatra katatra kuma mana trokum drukum 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 Okay, that was a powerful one. I do want to thank you so much for being here. And I will see you next time.